Hey, welcome back. All right, so let's say you want to add an external CSS file or a JavaScript file. So how do we go about doing that? Okay, so let's come back to our folder uh, system here. Now, when you put this, uh, this website onto an online server, the public folder here is going to be the root folder. So anything that is not inside the public folder will not be accessible to the general public. So for example, if you put your images in any other folder but from the public folder, those images will not be, um, will not be accessible. And for a simple reason, it's like this. Let's say you have a website, right? Your website will be website dot com like this and then slash um, <clears throat> excuse me and then slash something let's say we are going to the user section like that okay so I don't know what website this is but it's going to be something like this right website.com slash user now imagine your um, your images are in a folder called uh, images okay so the link to your image is going to be website.com slash image like that and then slash the image itself dot jpg something like this so this is a valid link online no problems there however if you put your images in a folder apart from public it means this folder is going to be outside this dot com because remember the .com here means we are accessing the public uh, folder. So anything outside the public folder means is before this .com here. So it's somewhere here because of the folder system. The way the folder system works, we have the file, one folder after another until we have the beginning, the root here. So the problem is if you put anything outside the public folder, it's going to be be beyond the root path. So that root path is not accessible from the outside. So you're going to have problems because then the link is supposed to be something like this. And this kind of link does not work um, on the online server, will not work. Unless maybe the security is quite low on that website, but this will not work. So what I'm simply saying here is that every uh, file, for example, uh, images, right? Images, CSS, JavaScript files, every file that is supposed to be accessible externally should be put inside the public folder. Okay, so images, CSS, JS, and all files that you upload, uploads, should be right in there. Okay, so that is if you want to avoid problems. So let's see how we can actually add a CSS file in here. Okay, so let's say I want to change my uh, font size on the header here. So I want to create a CSS file. So I'm going to go to my public folder here. And then inside the public folder, I'm going to create a new folder. Right click, new folder. I'm going to call it CSS, of course. And then in there, I'm going to create a new file. And then I'm going to say, um, main.css i'll save that that that's just for you to suggest and i'll save that after i type that i have to remove this so i have my css file here so if now i say something like uh, <clears throat> header like that so this is going to target this header tag over there okay so if i do that and i'm just going to say font um let's just go with font size for now let me just put it at 20 pixels just so we can see a difference so if i come back here and refresh i don't see any change on this because this is the header remember that and also i wanted to have a background color it's just slightly off gray something like that and then let's add some padding as well 1m like that okay so if we come back we will not see a change 
but then we can add this uh, this CSS file, right? Let's go back to header.php. So I can link this anywhere. I can put it inside the blade uh, file, the welcome page. But then uh, I would have to put it on every... Um, the same way this is a link right here. Fonts and then styles right here. We have styles there. But then I can link my own style sheet. So I can say link something like this. Okay, so style sheet. And then there's an href there. So now remember that we have blade in there, so which means we can do something like this. And then we can do URL and then use that to create the link. Now, the reason we're using URL, of course, is because we want it to be relative to the public folder. So here I'm going to put quotes and say CSS slash main dot CSS because that's the name of the file. So I'm going to save this. Let me come back here and make sure. Okay, so it's main.css, it's right there. So now if I do refresh, you see that uh, our header is looking different because now it's getting the styles from that situation there. Okay, so it's the same thing if we want to add a link to our uh, JavaScript file. So I'm just going to go to public again, right click, create a new folder again. This one, I'll name it JS for JavaScript. And then I'm going to create a new file in here. And this one is going to be, yeah, maybe just main.js. Keep things simple. Save there. So now we have a JavaScript file. So here I can do something like alert. And just say, hey, something like that. Just to see if uh, things are actually working. And then if I come back to uh, the welcome page here, I can add my JavaScript file. Usually we add JavaScript at the very end. So let's do that. I'm going to say script. And then here I'll add the usual. I'm going to use blade. And I'll say URL quotes there, js slash main dot js. It's not supposed to be type here, it's supposed to be source. Okay, so script, the source is here, and end script. So I'm supposed to see an alert immediately I refresh, then I know it's working. And you see there's an alert there, so everything is working very well. So this is how you add uh, styles and stuff. But if I click on user here, because this part is not loading those styles, that's why you don't see this happening here. I'm only loading those styles on the home page. So if I go back, this is the only place I can do this. Okay, so this is how you add your JavaScript file and your CSS. So I'm just going to remove the JavaScript file to, av to avoid being perpetually annoyed by that, uh, 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 by that alert, sorry, that's coming up. Okay. All right, so I hope you've learned something new here. I'll see you in the next video.